Okay, so you're here for tips and just just an overview of joining the British Army. You need some information about it. And I'll give you like my my background basically. So when I was joining in 2015, just before I joined, um, I was looking all over YouTube and stuff for videos about what happened in basic training, like phase one. So I'm here, I'll give you my personal accounts of like what actually happened and I'll give you some tips and tricks just to help you before you join. So um, I've got my laptop right, uh, right down there and it says on the actual British Army website from like week one to seven and week seven to 14, you do 14 weeks of basic training and it gives you like week by week what you'll do that week. So I'll give you my personal account first and then I'll go what the British Army tells you you might do on the website. <clears throat> Okay, so week one, for me it was, you get your kit issued, it was the first day. You get used to like your bed, like you, you fold your bed, you iron your bed, all the sheets, like that is the first weird thing, That's you have to get used to it. The second day, um, you get your kit issued, and you start doing all that kit admin, you'll get used to it, like ironing kit, folding, polishing boots, everything like that. Um, as well as getting all like your beret, so I've got my beret right now. It's like this, it's basically a hut. And it takes, you have to like mould it with water, in hot water and cold water, and it's just a pain. So that takes a bit of getting used to. Um, yeah, so you go through like admin, and then as soon as you get there, it's like values and standards, like you'll get drilled into you. So that's what they're called, C drills. Um, I'll give you what they stand for, but um, it's like courage, discipline, respect, integrity, loyalty, and then selfless commitment. That they're like six kind of rules you have to go by, by day by day, as a British soldier. So you learn you learn about it when you go there. But if you if you know before, that'll help you. So C drills: courage, discipline, respect for others, integrity, loyalty, selfless commitment. If you have that, you'll they'll be really impressed. So there's one. Um, and then you go on like a, an icebreaker. Basically, you stand up in front of <laughs> like 40 people and just give a minute speech about yourself, what you do, what you enjoy, why you join the army, etc. So if you write that up, so, uh, they'll be impressed as well. So have one already made, like a funny story that goes that goes down well. So week two, weapons training, um, BCD, which is battlefield casualty drills. And then you get like, it says a navigation, so map nav. You learn map reading, coordinates, etc. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Sounds about right. So this is like two years, two years ago now, and it's still the same roughly. Week three, weapon firing. Like you do your drills, like weapon drills and stuff. So it takes a lot of getting used to that. Does actually. So within like the four weeks you're there, the first four weeks you're just pure weapon drill. Like that's because you're trained in the army as like an infantryman first, a rifleman, and then you trade afterwards, so whatever it will be. Um, what else? So along, that's what I missed out was, each day you will do PT, whether it's like a run, like cardio session, high intensity, like in the gym, etc. You'll be doing that every day, so physical fitness is a must. Make sure you're by the highest physical fitness you've ever been in your life before joining and it'll help you a long long way like through training as well um, so first aid test as well so casualty drills the battlefield casualty drills you'll learn that for the first two or three weeks as well and then you'll have a test on the fourth week about it so that is like a, it's another one they love um, it's like a must you must know Exercise first step, so week five, I'm on to now. So uh, it's called exercise first step, so you have two nights in a field, this is what we did. I think it was free for us, but um, and then, so on the third night, you're like, it's pitch black, and you go out, you set off on your own. You have a map, a compass, you have a torch, and you set off and you have to find like locations, so it puts into like test what you've learned on map nav. So if you can already read a map before joining, even better. Um, so live firing, so you on to week 6 now, so you go on to an actual range with live bullets, so this gets completely, like, you've never experienced it before. If you've, if you've shot before, then you'll be okay, but 
for me personally, I never actually experienced that. Um, then, so from week three to six, I think you pra what we did was like a practice drill. So when you march or whatever, um, that's another thing getting used to like army life, the transition from civilian life to army life is just so, so mad. It's, you can't explain it until you actually do it. So week six, like I said, live firing. Then you have your drill test, which is um, the day, because from week one to six, you're, you're at like the camp. You have no contact really from the home. Um, then you can go back for a long weekend on week week six it was for two days. So your families come, they watch you, you pass a drill test you have to pass, otherwise you get kicked out. So yeah, that, that was another one, that was a nerve wracking moment, the first nerve wracking mo uh, moment for me. Um, and then you go long, like long weekend, it's great just to be home. And you go back, so you're refreshed, you're ready for the next seven weeks. So week seven, you go high wires, it's like confidence tests, getting used to all your like, all your friends you've just made, like, because you come so close, like, even though you don't know them on the first day, you're constantly with them, like, I'd say 18 hours of the day with your section, or your, like, platoon, etc. so, and then week seven is exercise halfway, excuse me, four days, three nights in the field, um, which is called exercise halfway, and you practice what you've been been learned. What we did on week eight was you start practicing weapon drill, I think it was. Let's see what it says on the British Army website. Oh, 44 press ups, 54 sit ups, and a mile and a half run in under 10 minutes 30. And that's the assessment. Like, you have to pass that to get through phase one. So you do that in week eight. So you're doing it every, I think it's every four weeks. So week one, week four, week eight, week 12, and then the final week as well, like week 14, I think you do one just to see how far you've come. And there's like, oh, there's so many people like who I knew would get in like, when they first came, they had like a, a run time of 13 minutes and they got it down to about nine. So not four minutes off that time, just in 12, 13 weeks, it was brilliant. So if you, I keep stressing it, but if you're fit, you will, you'll go through with flying colors. And if you're strong minded, you'll be even, they'll love you. Um, so yeah, that's week eight. Navigation, so more map freedom. Fitness training again. Exercise Valiant Spirit. Never heard of that, that must be new. So it's a reality of war trip. So basically what I did, I went to Belgium. I got the ferry to Dover, uh, from Dover to Calais, and then a bus trip to Belgium. And I went to, what's it called, Eeps it's called, in Belgium. And there's like a massive monument, like statue of 60,000 names on a massive wall of people who've died in the Great War, like World War One, And you go in like trenches in World War One. it's brilliant. Wish I had more, I'm sure I have pictures, so if I can get them, I'll put them like on the screen right now. Um, so that's cool, that, that's something like I will always remember. Week nine, range week, and um, live firing assessments. So you have your, I forgot what it's called, ACMT, so it's like annual, I don't know, ACMT, that's what it's called. So basically you fire on a range and you have to hit like 42 targets out of 50. Anything below is a fail. So from like 300 meters, like 100, 200, 300, like on prone, like laying down, like standing up, or like kneeling and then standing up. So that's cool. Once you pass that, you feel like, like a G. You feel so good. And if you hit every target, or if, if you get over 44, I think you get marksman. So like, on your passing out parade, which is like the final day, you get like a gun, or two guns crossed, two rifles crossed, I should say, and just shows you've got marksman on your shooting. Okay, so week 10, soldier development week, adventure training. What I did, I went away in Brecon Beacons for like, I think it's six or seven days, and you go on like high wires, you run across mountains, you do like a 14 mile tab, which is a tactical advance to battle, which you're just basically marching with weight on your back, which is pretty cool. I went over, I forgot the mountain, it's, I can't remember, but it's somewhere in Wales, and it's like such a huge mountain, we got over it, like 10 of us, so that was pretty cool. But honestly, I'd advise to get like a 
GoPro or something. Like, I wish I had one in phase one because I'd love to look back now and just look at it. It was such a good time thinking back. So that was week 10. Week 11 for me was, I think it was another exercise. I think it was like a four day exercise, five day exercise. But it says here, field craft test day. So you get tested on your, how good you are in the field. Like if you can look after yourself, keep yourself warm or keep yourself cool. Make sure you're eating. Um, rifle when you strip it down you're learning how to clean it like you had clean a rifle that will become very repetitive you'll hate that um and your co's comp basically the commanding officer of the camp so you have each section you have 10 people in a section and each section there's probably about 20 sections maybe um that they face off against each other and whoever comes first gets like a prize etc i think i came like third my section like 10 of us which is cool so you do like you're carrying carrying a person for like two miles like between four of you so you keep changing over um log carry like a shooting test etc so whoever gets the highest score wins which is really cool and then you'll get a phase two visit in that was week 11 so if you didn't know already i'm a chef so i went to worthy down um to the catering school, which is pretty cool. You've got to look around for the for like two days. So what you might actually be doing in your phase two training. So for me, that was a good insight. Um, week 12 is your final exercise. So I think it's six days in the field. It's called final fling and everything you've learned up until now, you put it into practice. And your section commanders, like your corporals or whatever, they just, they don't help. They just let you get on, you and your section get on and see if you're working well as a team, etc. So that is really good. So once you pass that, you're absolutely knackered, you're hungry, you're just cold. Like, I can remember one time on Final Fling on Salisbury Plain, I was sitting in a puddle, no joke, about that deep. We were just, just drenched. It was raining for like 10 hours straight and we were out there. All my rifle was wet. I was just sitting there contemplating life looking at my, my mate, I don't know, who was it? I think it was Davis, yeah, so yeah, this guy called Davis. I was just looking at him like, what am I doing here? Like, <laughs> so you do contemplate a lot, but once you finish, it's the, it's the greatest feeling ever. And then after that, you can speak to your family, etc. Um, so yeah, that's week 12. It says here it's five days in the field, but I think I did six. And on that, you get like a map reading test again all that stuff so look forward to that week 13 so cqb so close quarter combat drills and stuff so basically you get a rifle sling and um the way you hold it normally is just like it's quite loose you've got quite a lot of variation to move your rifle but this is basically for like urban urban ops so if you're going around a doorway and the, the sling your rifle slings quite tight to your chest so you've got quick movement etc um, so yeah you, you learn that you do like a day on a range with that that's pretty cool you're firing like automatic which you never get to do ever again um, and you get like CBRN training so chemical biological radiological nuclear training so like gas masks respirators you get suits and stuff how to put them on what signs warnings how to cure yourself basically won't go into it um now week 14 you get basically so where is it? week eight or nine you start weapon drill which is the worst like drill on foot without a weapon is personally i don't like but with a rifle like you wouldn't think a rifle it weighs probably like 4 kg maybe which is not heavy but if you're holding it like if you can see me, if you're holding it like that for around an hour and a half, two hours, maybe three, your arm, you'll have no blood left in it, it'll ache, <laughs> you'll drop your rifle maybe, some people faint, like, it's mad. Especially if it's raining, which it was in my parade. So yeah, you'll learn that from week eight until your final pass out parade, which is on the last day. You're standing and all your family, friends are there, and it's probably the greatest day of your life, unless you've had a really, really good day. But for me it was, 
because you pass out like you you achieve what you wanted to achieve and it's done and you go into phase two so i hope that was helpful if i could give you some advice first thing would be get in the best shape of your life before joining have a good mental attitude positive don't let anyone bring you down while you're in there just keep going keep going focus on the end goal uh, the final one is just be yourself they'll see through you if you're trying to be a different person so you get stripped down to your bare bones like i was just going to say like you'll be just a human that's all you'll be like you're not you don't have this personality after going in there you come out with just like a totally new aspect of life and it's great so hope it was helpful i'll bring some more videos out like this if you enjoy it so like comment and subscribe follow my social media and i'll see you in the next video peace Thank <laughs> you.